Hey guys, Legendary Ghidori here today, and let's begin with this what if. I actually got a lot of what ifs to do, so yeah, this was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but again, I got tired in the midst of the editing, and it kind of did take a couple hours just for, you know, to edit and revise this, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. So today we're going to be talking about what if Grimlock was in Marvel. Now first things first, we got established Cybertron. Now in this universe, or in my version of this, uh, Cybertron would be a normal, peaceful civilization led by both Optimus Prime and Megatron. Now honestly, you guys could say like, um, what about the Council of Primes or, you know, the High Council? That doesn't exist here, alright? So Optimus Prime and Megatron would be leading Cybertron and they would have to deal with invasions now every invasion can range from characters like god you know godzilla type monsters like king Ghidorah and destroyer i would include godzilla monsters in here so cybertron would actually be dealing with you know monster type of invasions sending these monsters on their way capturing them and bullseyeing them to planets now grimlock in this universe would actually be one of the main components here as you have octopus prime and megatron leading the people grimlock would be a hunter pretty much hunting down these kind of kaiju and i think he would make his way to earth here definitely being able to you know track down certain titans or kaiju whatever you guys want to call them and he would definitely fight a lot of people on this planet. Now, sorry about this image. This is actually one of my incomplete images of Grimlock versus Juggernaut. I actually have a completed one that I will share very soon. Okay? So, honestly, um, Grimlock would definitely fight characters like Juggernaut. I actually think on Earth he would identify as a mutant. Considering that he would, you know, uh, he would actually identify as a mutant, considering he is a mutated, um, mutated Cybertronian, he's techno-organic, that would consider by that as a mutation in the Cybertronian gene. By the way, if you guys want to know what Grimlock looks as a human, uh, here you go. You guys could say maybe he has some form of transformation device that turns him into a human, that way he can you know, easily blend in with the environment, easily blend in with the people here. Now, I do think Grimlock would definitely, um, definitely have some, uh, you know, definitely fight a lot of people. I mean, well, he'd probably fight the X-Men. I would definitely see that as he definitely beats down Juggernaut. Definitely, uh, again, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk. I definitely see that as just being like a side story, you know, the strongest who is story here. And I actually think he would definitely fight again, um... Oop, sorry about that. Uh, some of Earth's monsters. And definitely Godzilla monsters like that. We got monsters like King Cobra, Baragon, Rodan, Anguirus, Gorosaurus, Zilla Jr. You know, stuff like that. Now, in terms of, of um, major story effects, again, Mutant X-Men definitely is going to take a big role in fear itself. I actually say he would actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kurth by himself. And buy them time until Unstoppable Colossus comes in and finishes the job. Then we have characters, you know, Avengers vs. X-Men. He definitely takes on the likes of Thor and Captain Marvel. Or maybe she was Miss Marvel at that time. So yeah, he definitely takes on characters like Thor, Miss Marvel, Red Hulk. And um, definitely when the Phoenix part of it kicks in, he's definitely a main factor. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with... You know, Phoenix Force Cyclops and Phoenix Force Emma Frost. And then we get to the part where I would actually have him take down uh, Phoenix Force Cyclops. Like, full-powered Phoenix Force Cyclops getting a straight-up beatdown from a non-holding back uh, Grimlock in this fight. Definitely, instead of Juggernaut, I would have him in World War Hulk instead. Definitely have him give Hulk... Um, you know, the business, you, you know, just straight up give him those hands. Uh, when? No, I do think the fight gets caught up by Professor X at that point. Because, one, um, those two are just going to rough out. And he's probably going to put Hulk on the edge of going out. Now, one of the few characters that would appear on Earth would definitely be King Ghidorah. And definitely probably one of the main monsters, um, Destroyer. Now, with King Ghidorah, I would actually have him be more powerful to the point where the Avengers can't stop him. 
the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, even the Guards of the Galaxy can't stop him. It takes a combination of Godzilla and Grimlock to basically fight him. And the only way to beat him is for, you know, Grimlock to use a device created by Reed Richards to flat out absorb King Ghidorah on the molecular level, bonding him with Grimlock. Basically, that would be Grimlock's one and only amp throughout the entire series, okay? So, yeah, I would also introduce things like Monster Hunter monsters appearing. You know, they'd be the same size as the Kaiju, so around 300 to uh, 400 feet, you know, 200 to, uh, you know, higher than that. So, yeah, Grimlock and Godzilla in this universe definitely would be best friends if you like to see a godzilla part of this uh what if godzilla stayed yeah that's also tie into this part now if you guys want a love interest if you want a crossover laundry interest um either elsa or azula i think fits the bill here grimlock's fiery temper matching with azula's fiery temper elsa's cold and kind nature you know quelling grimlock's fiery temper Kind of like a Beauty and the Beast story, but, you know, you guys get it, right? So, with Grimlock as a fellow X-Men, right, what does he bring to the table, all right? Well, he's a military tactician. Honestly, he would just give the X-Men a much more strategic mindset and definitely be able to train the younger X-Men or the new mutants or whatever in pretty much tactical advisory or whatever. Now, with characters appearing in the series, I would have RC definitely appear in the series. Maybe that would be his love interest if you think that would be, you know, much more interesting here. There's also Autobot Megatron or just standardized Megatron appearing on Earth just to check in on the big guy. And then instead of Optimus Prime, I'll have Optimus Primal appear on Earth. Definitely, you know, I guess you could make a storyline out of that with Beast Wars. So you could guys could just you guys could pretty much have Optimus Prime as well, you know, Perceptor. Windblade, Sideswipe, you know, you guys get it, right? Now, in terms of his rogues gallery, I think it would be a combination of Godzilla monsters and Cybertronians. So, again, Destroyer, King Ghidorah, um, Crystalac, Obsidian, characters like Shockwave being the mad scientist, like a rogue Cybertronian in a way. So, I mean, Cybertron pretty much would be like... Um, Pretty much like our Earth, except you obey two leaders only. <laughs> so yeah, he would be a Shockwave would definitely be a recurring villain. I mean that is Grimlock's arch nemesis in all Transformers media. Uh, Lockdown. I think Lockdown would basically be Grimlock's Craven, always hunting someone, always hunting a kaiju, or always hunting well Grimlock himself. Now in terms of uh, you know. Earthbound villains, I definitely will have Holocaust as a main villain. Definitely grill get Grimlock over the intense heat argument. I mean, you know, intense heat, melting Cybertronians really doesn't apply to Grimlock. I mean, he's been in smelting pitch, which are as hot as a star. Another character I would have is High Evolutionary. Um, would definitely be fascinated in a techno organic being such as Grimlock, always getting stronger, more powerful, wiser, you know, better fighting skills. He would basically want to experiment and definitely study Grimlock. Fin Fang Foom, obviously. I, I think that's just that's just kind of a given. I, I really think that would just be, you know, uh, kind of a given there. Fin Fang Foom, job into Grimlock constantly. I think Grimlock will go after him constantly because, you know, put that boy in his place. I would also have a Celestial. Now, you might say, whoa, 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 you're going to have him take out a Celestial? Uh, Yes. I would also have him take out a Celestial because, I mean, that was kind of the big um, display of power for multiple characters in Marvel Comics. I would also have Space Godzilla and Trypticon. I think Trypticon would definitely be um, an adventure of the High Evolutionary and Shockwave using a component of pretty much every Kaiju's DNA combined with, you know, Grimlock Cybertronian biology or whatever. Basically, a clone of Grimlock times a hundred <laughs> i would also have unicron build be a main factor in the marvel universe him being able to take out the living tribunal one shot galactus K absorb chaos king you know stuff like that so honestly grimlock does bent the marvel universe in a multiple ways 
He's a great military strategist. He actually would be able to handle giant-sized monsters pretty much effortlessly. And he brings in just a lot more battles. So let me know what you guys think. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Legendary Ghidorah, and I'll see you guys later.